Alright, hello everybody. I am going to do a Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider benchmark, and um, it's going to be done with a little built-in benchmark tool. Uh, over here you can see I'm going over into graphic settings and uh, showing you the settings I'm choosing right in basic right now. I'll turn VSync off, full screen, and 16 by 16 by 9 and then uh, we changed it to ultimate for this benchmark and I went over to advanced to show you that uh, what everything was on and trust effects was turned down to ultra it was turned to normal and then yeah I was just showing you the difference between ultra and ultimate which is trust effects um, hair quality and um, I guess we can see the big difference in hair between these two videos uh, if you can't tell I'm doing the audio after this um, Something happened and I messed up the audio and it wasn't recording when it should have been. So, um, yeah. And if you don't know my hardware already, it's an AMD FX8120 processor, non overclocked right now, uh, 7970 graphics card from XFX. Um, not the black edition or the Gigahertz edition, the regular one. Uh, ASRock Extreme 9 990FX motherboard and Ripjaw X series, uh, 8 gigs of RAM clocked at 1600. Uh, this is going to be played. This is being played off a of Samsung A40 Pro SSD, and I just run this on normal and then trust effects and show you the frame difference on uh, the average FPS. Um, I really like the game makers are coming in and uh, supplying benchmarking tools for the uh, for the uh, video game graphics card tester guys. Um, it really just helps out with comparing graphics cards and deciding which ones to buy. Um, yeah, uh, when I was shopping a few years ago, all this information wasn't as uh, readily available as it is now, and accurate too. So. Go to Trust Effects and there you go. And we start the benchmark. Yeah, um, hair, cool. I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't. I really don't see any point in the Trust Effects thing. Um, all I see is a frame cut to me. big ocean. Where are you? You're gonna find out. Uh. Oh, this is being recorded on Avermedia game capture card, by the way. Um, this way the video compression going on is going on in the Avermedia card. Um, it's handling all that. So the frames you're seeing are actual frames. Uh, the processor is not being throttled. No hardware is being throttled. Only all the load is going on to the Aver Media card, so yeah, I'm not re recording internally with fraps or anything, just kind of running fraps as I go with the benchmark. And that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.